there's people that don't appreciate things like this. Uh, it's a dollar sign that actually encourages them to do what they do. The developer finally had uh, was met with uh, a couple of people with uh, shotguns. Uh, one being myself, the other being my brother, and uh, we made sure that uh, the development wasn't to go through. Um, the Aseki Association, however, uh, put a stop to that at, by um, saying that you know that was going to interfere with the water and them maintaining that water, which they have legal rights to do so. Uh, these Asekias go under the ancient Aseki law and pretty much the law just states these Asekias shall not be disturbed. And so when the developer was no longer able to access the water, it kind of thwarted his plans. We're not worried about developers anymore. And the community wanted to see it protected so that it would protect those uh, cultural and natural resources and that uh, living history that is uh, still existing on the property today. We have a really unique but wonderful partnership with the Aseki Association there who is the legal body that manages and maintains the um, Asekia, which provides water to nearby community, and have been doing so um, since, from my understanding, the 1700s. We purchased the property in uh, 1998 through a mill levy, and uh, now we uh, maintain it, but always in cooperation and partnership with local citizens and groups. Because only together it will, it will stay preserved. Uh, the land goes with the water, the water goes with the land. We all have to work as stewards to take care of this water together, not just one individual. <laughs> Permaculture is a system, and the principle of diversity is interwoven throughout. The more diverse a natural system is, the more fluid and productive it becomes. So he, he said, okay, you can be my apprentice. Right? But he, with the codicil saying, I can't pay you much, so you're gonna have to get a survival job. So that, that, that's why I went out and started wa wa walking around and uh, I would go to different places and they'd say, well, can you do renderings? No. Can you do working drawings? No. Can you do this? No. And then they said, well, you can't work here. Finally, I walked in the uh, Emory Roth's office and uh, I said the same thing. This is great, we'll put you right in the design group. But it, it suddenly became a strange thing because the, the next job that came in was the World Trade Center. And, uh, you know, and then we have this meeting and this board meeting and, uh, and, and Yamasaki comes in and he's this little tiny guy and he has this beautiful model and a big pile of papers and he taps it on the top and says, you know, boys, fill her up. And uh, somebody said, what do you, do you want, high test or regular? Uh, you know, it was a way of describing gasoline at that time. And so he becomes livid, leaves, and then never comes back. And so we think we lost the job. And then, but two weeks later, they, they, they write and uh, call up and, and say that they want us to have a presentation in two weeks. So we suddenly have something to do. 
And, and so I immediately got the idea if you had bridges across every fifth level, like 17 bridges, there would be places where a larger company could then make, uh, take advantage of the, of, of the, of the horizontal uh, spread. And, and that's, that's, that's when I get fired. Because he, he didn't want anything to disturb the prison purity of, of, that, of, of those two towers. Here in the U.S., one dollar will buy you a two-liter bottle of drinking water. That's not even enough to keep one person hydrated for a day. How much water can that same dollar buy in a foreign country? Enough for approximately 80 people to consume in one day. All right, so we got the Coke bottle with the water in it. We got it right here. All right, and we got that cloth that you're going to soak it in. Right here. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ahmed didn't want to stay home and be taken care of by the maids. Yes, indeed. He wanted to travel to the South, find black dudes who want to get paid. Yes, indeed. Let them play the blues, let them sing some soul, sign some white dudes from London up and play some rock and roll. Yes, indeed. He wanted to be the dude they call Ahmed. He's the blackest mother that I ever met. Yes, indeed. Darling, I love you. You know that you lie. Darling, I love you. Or something else. This month, enter to win an MTV two-way with Young Jeezy. Jeune, Gérard allait écouter chanter les Indiens des Bayous. Aujourd'hui. Il communie avec la nature à sa manière bien à lui. Mmh.